Okay. Oh, so only one win tonight, guys. I blew it. I could have definitely won that hexagon, but I fucking blew it. People were... The strategy was working. People were falling through. And I completely fucked up. It's my fault 100%. I'm very disappointed. Okay. No, the guy who was... So, no, we want to talk about my taxes. I'm not going to go into detail. I'm just going to say... The guy who was doing my taxes when I lived in Connecticut, all right, was a former dean of accounting at a university. He retired from being a teacher, and his job then became a side job. He's basically like, I'm going to do accounting for various people in the area. So I looked him up online. I went and saw him, and basically we hooked up you know, for him to do my taxes every year. He always did my taxes 100% correctly when I lived in Connecticut. But when I moved out here, okay, I sent him an email. And I said, since I'm going to be moving, I didn't move here yet. It was like maybe two months before I moved out here. I sent him an email. And I said, well, since I'm going to be moving to a different state, it seems like now, since you're a tax attorney in Connecticut, that, you know, I'm not going to be using your services anymore. And so I'm going to have to look up someone else in Washington. And he basically responded and said, no, 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 don't worry. I can still be your tax guy. Just send me all your info. You know, it might be a little different in Washington, but send me your info when you move there and everything. It's about your house and everything. Because remember, one of the things I could never do when I lived in Connecticut, I couldn't claim a room as my office or workspace because I didn't have a room dedicated to that. It was my worked out of my living room. And you cannot claim that on your taxes in your workspace unless you 100% use that room only for work. Okay, which I do. This work room is only for work. I do nothing else in this room. Um, so, I send him all the information when I move out here. And according to him, it's like, oh, this is fine. This is great. He's like, you're not going to owe any state taxes because there's no state tax out there. I looked it up. And, uh, you know, just do this, do this, do this. You're good. So, I do it for three years. No problem. And then I get contacted. And he goes, or I get contacted by the state. And the state says, uh, we have a rumor, we've contacted by people on the internet who said, who gave us an anonymous tip and said that you live in the state of Washington, you're not paying business and occupation taxes, so we're looking into this now, we need information from you, okay? So I told them everything, and I said, you know, even my accountant says this, 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 and they basically got back to me and said, your accountant's wrong, your accountant doesn't know what the hell they're talking about, you're supposed to be not doing personal income tax here in the state of Washington, but you're supposed to be paying business and occupation tax. They're like, so, you haven't paid it for three years, so not only do you owe us what you owed us those years, but now there's all this fees and interest that had accrued. On top of that, all right, excuse me, on top of that, all right, I then had to hire a new tax attorney because obviously my guy in Connecticut wasn't doing it right. So I actually contacted my tax attorney from Connecticut. I said, what gives? I've been paying you every year to do my taxes. And he's like, oh, well, I was never sure if that's how you do the Washington taxes. If... if if this is the case, you should definitely contact an attorney out there. And I said to him, dude, I have an email from you where it says you're going to keep doing my taxes and you know what you're doing. And you know, in writing, I have this. And after that, he basically stopped responding to me. Because he knew he was fucked. He knew that he basically was not doing the work he was supposed to be doing. He was being a lazy asshole and taking a paycheck. And I even talked to my new tax attorney about this. And he goes, yeah, he says, it's sad. He goes, I'm looking at the work the guy did. He did everything right. Like, he's like, when I look at your taxes, he did all your taxes correctly, but it's obvious when you moved out there, he had no real intention of actually looking into how to do it because he didn't care at all. He just, you know, oh well. And he wanted to keep taking your money. So that's what he did. He kept taking your money every year, unbeknownst to you, not knowing that you were doing it wrong. So now, now I have a new tax guy, but my new tax guy charged me a ton of fucking money to work with the, the, the state Department of Revenue to work out exactly what I was going to owe. He actually, I believe he negotiated them down a little bit from the exorbitant amount they wanted me to pay. And he's like, in good faith, can we get this amount instead of this amount, blah, blah, blah. So basically, I owed not only what I was supposed to be paying, which I didn't have, by the way. I was barely making ends meet. I was, in 2017, I was finally at a point where I was making enough because I'd become a live streamer, a full-time live streamer. I was finally making enough through your support to pay everything. I was paying my house, my car, the shitty condo in Connecticut that I was stuck with because I couldn't get rid of it, as well as everything else. Like I was able to afford everything. But then this happened and there was no money for it. So it was like, I have to pay that. And when I paid that, I had no money for anything else. And that's when everything fell behind and my whole life got fucked over basically three years ago. That was the absolute worst situation. Um, now some people said, well, why don't you go back after this guy? 
because there's nothing to go after. He lied to me and said he was doing my taxes correctly. He wasn't doing my taxes correctly, okay? He was ignoring a critical part of my taxes. But legally, what can I go after him for? I can go after him for the fees I paid him to do my taxes, which was $3,000 maybe for three, four years he did them wrong. So that's nothing. That was not enough. It would have taken me more time and money. Holy shit, I almost died right there. It would have taken me more time and money to sue him and go after him for malpractice, right, than it would have, I would have gotten out of it. I would have spent more money going to court and suing him and then having to wait and do court cases and everything. It would have been more time away, but also time away from me streaming. Because remember, I had to stream full time to make ends meet. So now imagine if once a week I can't even stream and I'm losing all this money because I have to do this fucking court bullshit to try to get a few thousand dollars out of a guy who fucked me over, right? It wouldn't have been worth at all. It wouldn't have. It would have been a waste of my time. It would have been detrimental to the streams. It would have been detrimental to me. I, you know, with everything. It would have been stressing me out constantly. Um, it wasn't worth it. There was really nothing to go after. It would have been one thing if I had paid this guy so much money, but I looked it up. And on the internet, they said, if something like this happens, the only thing you can try to do is get your fees back. That's it. He wouldn't be responsible for any of the taxes because those taxes would have been, would have been, even if I paid them correctly or not, they still existed. If you know what I mean? So I wouldn't have gotten enough for anything. Seriously, I wouldn't have gotten enough for anything at all. To do it so that's what that's really there's two two key factors over the years that, all right three key factors fucked me over the first was that i moved out here and spent a ton of money that i didn't have i financed everything out here because i spent way more money than i had at the time all right and that was the beginning of the end because i now have all this debt in my name and i have no way to fucking pay it off and i was hoping of course that I was going to keep making the money that I was making. Sadly, that didn't happen, okay? The money that I was making dramatically decreased because in 2015, which is the second factor here, I got fucked over on my YouTube channel. I got all those false copyright strikes against my YouTube channel, and they completely destroyed my YouTube channel. Um, and my YouTube channel was never the same after that, ever. You know, it basically got completely screwed over. Um, I couldn't get views anymore from anybody. You know, and keep in mind, back then I wasn't, a, I wasn't streaming for profit. My YouTube channel was my primary income, so I had no way to increase my income or anything being a YouTuber. My channel wasn't in search anymore. Everything was completely fucked because of those false copyright strikes. They completely destroyed me. Um, but then I became a full-time streamer in 2017, and things were t looking up. Like I said, things were actually turning around and looking better. And that's when the tax thing happened. So it was three things all snowballing together that caused that stuff to happen. It's really fucked up the way it went down, too. I worked so hard, worked my ass off all these years just to have it all fall apart because of the actions of trolls and a fucking irresponsible piece of shit over in Connecticut who didn't give two fucks about my life, basically. He just wanted to take fucking money. Oh my god, is it going in? It's going in. Yes. Finally. 37 seconds. We may all, wow, this may be only a one score game. I think it's gonna be a one score game. It looks like it, and it looks like with 20 seconds left, we're gonna win it. Just keep them out of our goal, we win by default. Only 15 seconds left, we're gonna do this. We did it. Yeah, they can't score now. Only 10 seconds left, there's no way. Are you shitting me? Stop it, good shit. Stop it, stop, stop it. Five, four, three, two, one, we did it. No, they scored? How the fuck did they fucking score? Oh my god, guys. Seriously, what the f Oh, we got it in, look. <laughs> we got it in at the last minute there. Okay. Okay. That's amazing. Okay. All right, well, thank you, Hygienic Streamer Tips, for a couple more cheers. I appreciate that. All right, um... Let's continue on. I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna stop talking about this stupid tax shit. I'm gonna get out of the way. I don't wanna talk about it no more. It's in the past now. I'm Now I'm actually doing my taxes properly. I don't wanna fucking talk about it anymore, okay? Uh, excuse me. What? Polish frog, the tax guy was never friends with my dad. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. <laughs> what are you talking about? Friends with my dad. It wasn't anyone that my dad knew. Uh. 
He only, my dad actually did his taxes with that guy once or twice. After I basically did my taxes with that guy. And that was it. After after he heard what happened, how fucked up it was and everything, and basically he stopped doing taxes with him. Actually, from what I understand, he stopped doing taxes even earlier than that. I think he only did tax with him once. And then he figured out how to do it by himself. Because my dad doesn't have complicated taxes like I do. No way. His is very simple. Okay, here we go. The big defense. Making big plays. Making big plays. <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? That didn't make sense. He, the game didn't show him coming inside. The game never showed him coming inside to grab the tail. He just was in here grabbing it. Whatever you say. Got it. Thanks. That didn't make any sense. He's not near me! Oh my god! Come on! Fuck this fucking shit. He's nowhere near me. I hate the tail game because it never is accurate. The dude was nowhere near me and he grabbed my tail. This is so stupid. First, the guy teleports inside of the rotating hammer and he's just standing next to me and grabs my tail. Okay. And then the fucking guy is nowhere near me and grabs my tail. I hate that fucking game. They gotta fix it. They've got to fix that game. You can't have it that poor. It's pathetic. <clears throat> uh. Well, I am happy that I did get my one win, but I don't know if I'm going to get another one at this rate. Too frustrated now. I'm getting too worked up and too frustrated, right? Okay. Huh. Oy, oy, oy. <clears throat> okay. Gee, man, Dingo loves Phil. Thanks for the cheer. It's the stupidest thing I've read this year, and I'm not reading it. Dumbass. Okay. What are my favorite kinds of Pringles, and do I like them? Ask King Michael. The one I always ate the most was, like, either sour cream or cheddar and sour cream. Those are always my favorites. I know there are many, many other flavors, but for some reason, those are the ones I always ate. Not that I ate them that often, because I didn't. Nice, I bounced over the top. Huh. Yeah, the dive of destiny. Very good. Derek, the, the outfit I'm trying to get tonight, which I don't know if I'm going to be able to, is a d diver outfit. It kind of looks like Big Daddy from uh, from uh, Bioshock. That's kind of what it looks like. <clears throat> One win tonight so far, Glamorous Jarl. All right, roughly 40 minutes left on the stream, everyone. 40 minutes left. Top tipper gets to pick my outfit for next week. Right now, it's someone uh, who's book snacks game of the year, $6.90 tip. So they are, they're basically getting away with it pretty easy at this point. <laughs> okay. I say next week is actually so, uh, Saturday is my next Fall Guys stream, FYI. <clears throat> Dizzy Heights. Will this have the variation? No. This is a variation that has the swinging ball. Oh, wait. It does have the big Yeetus at the end. Does it have the swinging balls? I guess we'll find out. Oh, this sucks. Yeah, see? 
remember they reversed the stage when they when they when they rotated the stage around they made it so they can go to the right side it's slower the left side's faster now it used to be the other way around Out of my way. Okay. Yeetus! Yeetus! Oh, God! Well, it helped, but then I got hit by a fucking stupid watermelon and a giant blueberry. I never seen a watermelon that shape in my life, by the way. <laughs> giant blueberry. Look at the size of that blueberry. <laughs> Very good. Twenty sixteen I played Bioshock Remaster. It's a seeded watermelon? Seeded or seedless? Wait, I don't understand. They look the same, don't they? Seeded and seedless don't look different. Do they? Fan of Pop says, I got tired of being eliminated from team games, so I just stopped playing it and I'm waiting for season two. The team games are annoying. There's some that are really good. I like the soccer slash football. I like the one where you push the ball together. Anything with the tail is bullshit. The tail is the most frustrating thing because it never works right. And of course, forget the egg game. That one's just bullshit, too. If your team doesn't fucking play defense, you have no chance. Great. I can't move. Well, I'm just gonna walk. I can't even move again. I'm fucking bouncing around like an idiot because the fucking game's physics are so bad. Ha <laughs> ha. stuck in place and shit. Get it. Oh my god, I'm not gonna make it. I didn't do that, oh my god. Ha! <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. Okay. Well, I fell because the fucking guy was in the way. There we go. I like Bioshock Infinite. I love Bioshock Infinite. I, Bioshock 1 and Bioshock Infinite are great. I hated Bioshock 2. I really did. I thought it was so inferior. It's a very disappointing game. I thought the multiplayer of Bioshock 2 was better than the actual, like, core game, right? I did. I thought that the multiplayer was better. <laughs> okay. I just realized the stream was loud, so I lowered it a little bit. <clears throat> All right. Tiptoe through the tulips. <clears throat> Ninja Star Room Cheerio said, Can I add your stream as work experience on LinkedIn? No. No. Denied. Hello, BWT. My day is going well. Thank you. Thank you for the resub. 37 months of support, man. We all fell. <laughs> we all jumped and we all fell. You guys get the fuck out of the way. I can't even walk. I want to walk forward to jump. I can't. Because they're in the way. 
They'll just bounce it off each other like fucking idiots. I couldn't. I'm dead. I can't qualify now. I didn't even. I didn't even do anything. I think I did nothing wrong. I didn't. I didn't even do anything. Just the the, the fucking stupid physics. Everyone's becoming like fucking bouncy and bounces off of each other. I didn't even do anything. All I want to do is walk forward and jump and dive, and I can't do it because the physics just go. Bleh, 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 bleh. So I got fucked. Well, I unlocked the saber tooth outfit. A possibility for the outfit I could wear on Saturday. The saber tooth. Let's check it out. There it is. Look at that. I just have to find uh, some good pants to go with it, right? I don't know. That's a pineapple. Maybe that. Actually, that looks good. Wait a minute. Look at that. Oh my god. It's perfect. Alright, it's a possibility for Saturday. Just saying, but okay. Alright, where's the legs? No, that's not it. There we go. All right. Not really. Derek says, do I remember characters from PlayStation All-Stars that I played with? I know like, I know, it had Nathan Drake, Sly Cooper. I don't really remember much about it. It was a game that came and went. It was literally a, a bust. They tried to copy Smash Brothers and came up miserably short, and no one cared about the game. It was, it was a complete and utter flop. That was 2012, because that was the year I went to E3. I saw it at E3, and then it came out later that year in November. That, see, that's a case where, unlike the Battle Royale craze, where literally everyone copied each other and all made successful games and made money, that was a case where Sony invested a ton of money into a game to clone Smash Brothers, and it flopped and failed miserably, and they lost a ton of money at it. <laughs> okay. All right, here we go. Oof. Here we go. <sighs> wow. <laughs> okay then. I was trying to let my momentum take me. It did not work at all. You also notice they changed the stage so now you can't walk on the edges anymore? Yeah, you can. You can't walk on the edge anymore. If you walk on the edge, you can get crushed and stuck. Yeah. Hmm. I'm getting owned tonight a lot. Because these stages were changed up and stuff. I'm getting dominated, man. I don't I don't even get another win now. It sucks. I want another win bad. I want. I want that outfit, but I'm not going to get it. There's no way I'm going to get two wins in the next uh, the next 35 minutes. How am I going to get two more wins? Fuck. Fuck. Okay. Fuck. Hoi! Expand Dong is saying, you think PlayStation All-Stars 2 would do better these days? I don't know. Derek says, characters that were Fat Princess, Sweet Tooth, Kratos, Parabba the Rapper, Big Daddy, Cole McGrath, and Hihachi. See, and out of that, no one remembers Fat Princess. No one would know who Sweet Tooth is. No one would know Parabba the Rapper anymore. No one would care about, like, most of those characters. You're right, most. So what would be the, the, the first party Sony characters? Now, Kratos would still be in. It would be new Kratos. You'd, you'd have, um... You should fucking have the Hunter from Bloodborne would be sick if they did that, but they wouldn't do that, probably. Um, Spider- fucking put Spider-Man in there, right? 
He's a Sony exclusive. Put fucking Spider Man in there. <laughs> Sparking cheese. There's someone in the chat here that likes their coffee cold. That's great. I like my coffee cold too. I love it. I have I have a cold coffee almost every morning. That's what I drink in the morning before I come to stream. I didn't need to jump. Whoa, I didn't jump. I did press jump. The game didn't work. It didn't jump, but I actually ran across the gap. Holy shit. Ninstar Rune Shared, he said, For Halloween, I should try to find a Parappa the Rapper costume for the commercial for the Parappa remaster and wear that. I'm pretty sure that would not exist. You're not going to find a Parappa the Rapper costume uh, in 2020. Huh. <laughs> Very nice. Okay. Derek, I like, I like all the Sly Cooper games. If I remember part four actually didn't really feel much like the originals, though. They, like, changed a lot, if I remember correctly. Expand Dunk says, Knack, the new Kratos, Alloy, Jin Sakai, Bloodborne's Hunter, and, and Blue Knack from Knack 2. <laughs> no one would give two fucks about Knack, seriously. Hyperior 21, yes, Sweet Tooth is from Twisted Metal. That's the thing, no one knows who Sweet Tooth is anymore. Because Twisted Metal failed, remember? Just the middle release for, for PS3. And no one fucking cared. The game we ran like shit online. So nobody cared about it. It was a huge, utter failure. <laughs> and since then, Twisted Metal's been 100% dead. Well, he's jinxed. There's a lot of Jinx guys on here, so I'm gonna get the fuck out of here now. Oh shit. Oh god! I'm Jinx now! I got hit by the ball like four times. Now you're jinxed. Fuck you. And now you. What? He got away somehow, right. Oh, he's Jinx now. And now he's Jinx. There's only one gold guy left. There he is! We got him. Very nice. Gunbrand99 to be $7. You're now the top tipper, Gunbrand. He said, we be playing Spider-Man Miles Morales. What future MCU movie are you looking forward to the most? Yes, I am. Going to be playing that on PS5 since I pre-ordered PS5. And, uh... And what MCU movie? I don't even know what MCU movies are coming out. The one that sounded interesting to me was the one with Doctor Strange doing What If? Like, basically doing alternate universes and stuff. That sounds interesting to me. Maybe they'll bring in the X-Men from the Sony universe as a crossover for that or something. That'd be neat. Um, but that's the only one I even know about. I don't even know what other MCU movies are coming out. And now they're all delayed anyway because of COVID, so. <laughs> do I still have the Doctor Strange robe? No. Most, most of the junk that I got from those loot boxes was thrown out a long time ago. Basically, when Cat moved in, we wanted to clean the house. One of the major things we wanted to do was clean out the nook. And the nook is where we had all those fucking shitty loot boxes. We went through them all. There were very few things we felt were out of value, like some tools and shit that we could actually use around the house. And the rest of that shit outside of, like, maybe some t-shirts that I kept, it all got tossed. All of it. That, uh, let's be honest here. Loot crate, not much value to it at all. Loot crate is kind of a weird thing. Oh, they're all dead. They all just died. That's, like, four people. Yep. Um... Loot crate is cool if you have money to blow, but most of the junk in loot crates is a waste of money. It's garbage. Nine times out of ten, what you get in a loot, loot crate is very disappointing. And I know because I was in the partner program for like two, three years. Um, and I threw most of the crap out afterward. So there you go. Loot crate is exactly like all the other fucking sponsor stuff for streamers. It's low quality crap. The only reason you get it is because you want to help out the streamer. And you know the streamer's in an affiliate program. And if you buy through their link, they make money, right? Same thing, or, or YouTuber. I was a YouTuber at the time, not a streamer. But 
That's what it is. There's these fucking stupid gaming chairs and shit. They're trash. All that stuff, the affiliate links is garbage. That you're buying trash, you're just trying to help the streamer and hopefully getting some kind of a product out of it that's useful when in reality you know you're probably getting shit. Didn't Loot Crate go out of business? They did, and then they got bought out by another company, and now they're alive again. They, they, I believe they declared bankruptcy, or they were going to go out of business completely, and then at the last minute, another company stepped up and bought them out. So now they technically live again, but they're different, like they're different management and everything. But yeah, they did go out of business with their original formula. Okay. Fan of Pops, who's the last sponsor I had? Technically, Hori. Because of the, the Hori, uh, the pad for the, uh, the Switch. I can't remember what the name of it is. But that's the last sponsorship deal thing that I had. You can tell just by when they give my hammers how it, it doesn't act properly. You can see how fucked up the physics are in this game. Thanks. I didn't even I didn't even go for that. He literally gave it to me. <laughs> Someone's probably gonna get this. What? They're gonna teleport in. I guarantee it. Characters are going to teleport through the hammer and grab my tail. I'm calling it right now. Three, two... What did I say? I got it back, though. What did I say? It's exactly what happened. He teleported through the hammer. What the fuck? He wasn't there. Then all of a sudden, he's inside. He grabs my tail. What the fuck is with that game, dude? That is so bad that that happens. <laughs> he teleported through. Oh my god, that's so terrible. Alright, at least we're to the finals now. There's some hope. Jump showdown. Oh no. Oh no. Fan of can we get mascots back on the stream? Why would you want a mascot back on the stream? People said they were stupid and complained about them constantly, saying that it was a dumb idea. And then when I revealed Jasper last year, people were like, oh, there's no need for real mascots anymore because he has a real cat. So that's why. Now for holidays, yeah, I brought back Potion last year and I brought back, uh, was it Cookie? Cookie the Christmas Pooch for Christmas. Now, if I have, I have nowhere to put one right now, but if I do get, like, a stand or something to do Halloween decorations, then yes, it's a possibility that I could actually bring back, uh, like, like, potion to stand on the stand along with my decorations, so we'll see. Oh, this is crazy. Are you kidding? Look at this. This is not good. Oh, boy. I made it. Oh, my God. So to my knowledge, they yeah, they won't fall anymore. That's right. It's just the, our final four here. One got eliminated. Oh, my eye's burning, dude. Oh, my eye's burning. Not good. It's me and that guy. My 
eye is burning. My fucking eye. This is not good. Oh. No! <sighs> My eye. I got fucked. My eye fucked me, dude. It did. Ninja Star Room 2, so you think you'll find time in the schedule for Among Us? I have no idea. The game, it has to be played with a bunch of people. I don't know anything about it that much besides just like an elimination style game that's a few years old, so. Anyway. Camcorder DSP tipped me a dollar and copy and pasted the old message I used to put on my old YouTube videos, which is as follows. You ready? Please read before watching. Follow these instructions to get the best quality out of my videos. Click on the HD button once it's available. It takes you 20 minutes after the video first shows up on YouTube. And if your computer can handle the HD video, and then it cut off, but there's more to that message. It basically says you have to copy and paste it into a, a special link with a special ending. It's true, when, when YouTube first started supporting HD video, it's like 720p, it would be choppy as fuck. It would run terribly. And what you need to do, they had a link you could use. Like if you copy the address and you put it in with a special, uh, uh, what is it? What do you call it? A suffix? Something you put at the end of a string or the end of a sentence. I think it's a suffix, right? Not a prefix, a suffix. If you did that at the end and you added this, these weird characters, it would run better. You could actually watch the, the videos in higher quality. I don't know why that happened. Huh. Yeah, it's stupid weird code and it, it worked way better. Before that, it was shit. You try to watch the video, be like, chop, 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 chop. What the fuck? My computer's like, great. Why can't I watch this fucking YouTube video in HD? And then if you put a suffix on the fucking address of the, of the, the video, now it works right. That was when YouTube was a piece of donkey shit. Well, I got fucked. My other reason why my eyes so dry is right now I have the fan blowing directly into my face because it's about I'd say it's probably between 80 85 degrees in here tonight um I don't have the air conditioner anymore so there's no way for me to cool that down so because of that my fan has to blow directly on me to cool down but because the air is in my face it's making my eye burn if I were wearing the gunner glasses I would have defense against the direct uh wind blowing into my eyeball but we didn't hit the, the $50 goal so I'm not wearing the gunner glasses so there you go <laughs> there you go. No big yeetus. Oh, come on. No fucking big yeetus. Are you kidding me? All right. All right. So, by the way, guys, I'm only going to be here for roughly another 20 minutes. That's it. Okay. So if you want to try to be the top tipper, you got to be a $7 tip from Gunbrand99. You'll get to pick the outfit when I play this next on Saturday. Um, and last chance to try to hit the tips goal for tonight, which I would appreciate the support. <clears throat> All right, Derek, you have a good night. Ouch. Oh, excuse me. All right, here we go. Only one win tonight, son of a bitch. I needed the three. I only got the one. Fuck. And no Big Yetus again. Son of a bitch. I want Big Yetus. I agree, BWT says it would be sick if uh, they had horror movie skins for next month. I agree, but I don't know what licensed tie-ins they're going to end up having. Right now, they only have a few, right? They have Alex from Half-Life. That's the latest one, I think. And let's face it, no one actually really knows who Alex from Half-Life is, besides people who played the game a million years ago because no one played the VR game. <laughs> so not exactly the biggest character to have in here. It's probably cheap. Probably cheap licensing. Fuck. 
don't think I'm gonna make it. Nah, there's a lot of people in front of me. I'm not gonna make it. Oh my god! I was the last one! I was the last person to qualify. Holy shit. Wow. That was luck. Alright. Phew. <laughs> I'm out of water. This sucks. I'm thirsty. I'm out of water and we gotta do this shitty game. What the fuck? Seriously? This is double whammy bullshit. This fucking stupid match game. I hate it. I look like Josh Jacobs jumping into the end zone there, says Adam Outlaw. There you go. Oh my god. This game is so fucking boring. Grape, watermelon, cherry, apple. Grape, watermelon, cherry, apple. Okay. Apple. Right here. Two cherries, two apples, and a watermelon. Orange and banana. I'll just see grape is the top row. So two cherries, two apples, watermelon, orange, banana, grape. Two apples right here. Both of these are good. Yep. <laughs> I hate that game. I hate it. Exciting. Oh boy. 26 left. It's probably gonna be a team based game, man. Yeah, it's probably gonna be a team based game. Group shoot. Fruity shooty, fruity shooty. Oh. Wow, I couldn't land. Three times I hit it and I couldn't run forward. It made me fall. That's fucking terrible. You idiots get out of my way. Oh my god, I'm done. That's it, it's over. I'm not gonna qualify now. This shit is so done. There's way more people to the right. It looks like all the fruit went to the left. It, it seriously did. All the fruit went to the left. Oh my fucking god, fuck this. Ooh. Fuck this. Okay. Okay. Alright, anonymous dollar tipper, I got the message. Anonymous dollar tip. Someone who didn't want me to read out their message. Okay. All right, 15 minutes left. That's it, guys. Probably time for only one more, unless I die real fast. We'll see. Jerk store, I don't have... Ne uh, oh, wait a minute. He says, do am I going to watch Mandalorian Season 2? I didn't watch Season 1. <laughs> I don't watch Season 1, so probably not watching Season 2. It would be pretty dumb to watch Season 2 and not Season 1. Polish Trucks says, what outfit does Gunbrand want? I don't know. Gunbrand has not told me what outfit he wants yet. But it looks like uh, he's going to be the winner because no one else is tipped. And 
this is the final game of the night, so. <coughs> it looks like Gunbrand is going to be able to pick the outfit for the next stream, which would be Saturday night. <coughs> Mind the Bees, there's no way we're getting the skin. Nope. I only got one win tonight. I got... I had some bad performance. Some of, a lot of it was my fault. A few things I called bullshit on, but I think a lot of it was my fault tonight. I made some errors, and I didn't get the wins. <clears throat> oh, this is the variation. Yes, this is the one that has the swinging balls now. Okay. <clears throat> Dinner was great tonight. Tonight was one of my favorite dishes that my wife makes. You gotta be fucking shitting me. I didn't do that. See, I hate this. I didn't do that. I was holding a direction, and my guy didn't go the direction I was holding. And because of that, now I'm gonna be way behind. It's so fucking stupid. <laughs> God damn it. I walked right by the ball. Nice. I made some big headway there. Because I was like near the back and I totally... Oh shit, I just got a $20 tip. Hold on. I just received a $20 tip from, I believe, Bernie Madoff. Oh boy. I wasn't aware this guy got out of uh, jail. But Bernie Madoff just to be $20 said, where the hot dog cost? Alright. Well, thank you to Bernie Madoff. Biggest tip of the night. And that gets us up to $65 a tip, so yes, it is official. It's Gunner Glasses time for these last few minutes that we have on stream. And uh, Bernie Madoff is the top tipper with 20 bucks. Looks like I'll be wearing the hot dog costume on Saturday night unless someone beats him in the next, uh, you know, 10, 15 minutes or so. <clears throat> All right. Hot dog suit. Remember, if you guys remember, when I wore the hot dog suit, I actually got a bunch of wins that time. Remember? I bought the hot dog suit. I started wearing it. I think that was the time I got three wins in one session, the most I've ever gotten in one sitting. I'm pretty sure. So maybe it's a lucky suit. I don't know. <clears throat> Kubrick Contracts says, I hope it's a turkey dog. Me too. Madari's Guts is the main actor for Mando. May have quit. Ladies and gentlemen, we just got another 100,000 bitch here from Overpowered Boom. This is the third one in three days, all right? Now, yes, I have to be a little skeptical. After three of these back-to-back, -back, this person obviously is either incredibly helpful or they think they found a way to ga the game the system of cheering. I hope it's the former and not the latter. Because this has been an insane amount of help of this, you know, three nights in a freaking row. Getting a hundred thousand bit cheer, the biggest cheer I've ever gotten. This person is now on the leaderboards as the biggest cheer I've ever had on the channel. Okay. So, this is wild. Um, thank you again, Overpowered Boom, for your help. I do, again, hope this is legit. I really do. This would help me tremendously come next month. It really will help me a lot. Um, so I hope it's real. I hope this isn't, like... Dr. Tony Huge suggested earlier that someone found a way to game the system and basically get out of these bits. I hope not. Because this is great if it's new, okay? <laughs> this is great if it's real. So thank you to um, 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 Overpowered Boom for another 100,000 bitch here. Amazing, thank you. Alright, oh shit. Oh shit, I almost fell. Oh god, no, 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 Oh, that was so close. You see me? I was clipping. I was fucking clipping, dude. That was not good. Yikes. Okay. Here we go. Still need two more. This is going on forever. The middle pr yellow second. Oh my god. Oh no! Oh! Well, now, ladies and gentlemen, it seems like a two hundred dollar tip just came through from someone named Share Shine. 
So I got some update, oh, uh, leaderboards to update here. Okay. So first of all, if this is legit, another hundred K cheer from Overpower Boon, and that helps tremendously. Thank you very much. Now let me take a look at this tip. Hold on. I gotta take a look at this. Yeah, I think she, this. I can't tell if Share Shine's tip is legit or not. I, th there's nothing for to me to indicate that it's fake. So another a two hundred dollar tip, ladies and gentlemen, tonight from Share Shine. So Share Shine, you are the top tipper of the night. I need to know from you what outfit do you want me to wear next week? Because we're out of time on the stream tonight. We're completely out of time. This is the end of the stream. Yeah, we don't really, we don't even have time to, uh, we don't even have time to pick a vest. We don't. I guess I'm just going to go throw one on. Hold on. I'm just going to, I'm going to throw a vest on for like the next five minutes. Here. Since no one ever picks it. <laughs> The poor, the poor gray vest never gets worn, okay? Never. So, I wanted to give you some love tonight since it never gets worn. You guys never pick it. And we don't have time to pick a vest anyway because I'm out of here in just a couple minutes. Uh, so, there you go. All right. Ninstar Room Cherry said, actually, Infinite 55 still leads by 4.5 thousand. Holy shit. So, Infinite, still the biggest cheering supporter of all time. Obviously, thank you, Infinite, for that. But in three nights, Overpower Boon is the second most big cheerer I've ever had on my channel. Wow. Again, I first of all, guys, this week has been insane, right? We've had giant tips that you can't tell if they're real or not from Newbridge LLC. Today, I get a $1,200 tip from someone we've never heard of, insisting it's not going to be a chargeback. But, you know, do you trust that, right? Do you actually trust that? Um, I don't know if I should or not. Um, <clears throat> now, tonight... Th well, three nights in a row, 300,000 bit cheers from Overpowered Boon, who it sounds like is a fan, because that's a meme of mine, is Boon being overpowered in New Vegas. There's a whole song about it, right? And I'm very grateful if it's real. It's going to help tremendously. But I, it kind of sucks that I'm in a position where I have so many people trolling me constantly that I don't know what's real and what's not. And all, literally all of these contributions over the past few days could be fake. And it sucks to think that way. I hope they're not. I would hope if just one of these big contributions is real, that's all going to help tremendously. So I gotta hope that these are real, okay? I guess we'll see what happens. How do you see all top tiers of all time? It's on my main page, my main Twitch channel. If you look below, there's a dashboard. And in one of those panels, it has a, a, a leaderboard that shows top tiers of all time there, okay? Um, so, Overpowered Boon, thank you for the 100K cheer. Share Shine, $200 tip. You're the biggest tipper of the night. So you need to let me know. I don't know how you're going to, but you need to let me know what outfit to wear for next time around. I mean, my suggestion, personally, would be this. Because I really like this new outfit that I unlocked today. This Sabertooth. And I already had the feet for it. Look at that. It's like a caveman with a Sabertooth head. It looks pretty neat. I'll probably just, like, try to mess with other colors. But I, I would suggest that would be it. But it's up to Shareshine. Shareshine's the top tipper of the night. Um, so they get to uh, figure it out. But I don't, I don't think they're in the chat. If they have a way... To contact me like here's the thing share shine i'll know your email address because i will actually no actually i might not now that i'm thinking about that i might not because if this was done as a certain kind of tip i wouldn't have that information and i almost guarantee you it was what i'm finding is all these big tips are coming through as a quick payment checkout on paypal which means i don't get the person's uh, information like their email and nothing so i have no way to verify who's who i they've all been coming through the same way you know Trying to read, do it right now, it wouldn't fucking come up. Let me see. Let's see here. In Star Room Cheers, the twist and turns of these tips and cheers makes it my favorite soap opera. Not mine. I don't want soap opera on my stream. I don't. I just want to have fun playing games. I don't want to have soap operas. Is this real? Is this not? It's bullshit. Chances are it's all going to be fake. Chances are what's going to happen is next month we're going to find out everything's fake. And it's going to be very, very fucked up because. You know, all the support people think is coming in and it ain't real. It's going to be really messed up. I hope not, though. I certainly hope that's not the case. 
let's see here. I'm trying to see if I can see where this came in from. Nope, I knew it. It was made as a direct payment, and because it's made as a direct payment, you don't get an email address from the guy. So in reality, I cannot even get this guy. This guy cannot pick an outfit for next week because we can't verify it's him because he didn't use a PayPal login. He did a quick checkout. That's what everyone's been doing. So, oh man. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, thank you. It was a fun Fall Guys stream. We got only one win. I had a bunch of mistakes. It's my fault why I didn't get more. All right. Um, so it is what it is. Thank you for your support. I appreciate everything. Okay, I really do. I appreciate your support. And I hope that you enjoyed tonight's Fall Guys stream. Until next time. Next time will be Saturday night. Okay, guys, and I, looks like I'll be wearing this because there's no way to verify this guy who's the top tapper. Okay, thanks. <laughs>